What is AdBlue and why does your diesel car have it? Euro 6 emissions regulations have clamped down on harmful gases being emitted by vehicles across Europe. Nitrogen oxide emissions from diesel cars in particular. AdBlue is now being used in a growing number of diesel cars to address this issue. By reducing the amount of these gases coming out of the exhaust pipe, AdBlue will help to reduce a diesel car's impact on the environment. What is AdBlue? AdBlue is a solution made up of urea and water. It's injected into the car's exhaust system before harmful nitrogen oxide comes out of the tailpipe. How does AdBlue work? The AdBlue is fed into the exhaust. It reacts with the nitrogen oxide gas produced by the combustion process, breaking it down into harmless nitrogen and oxygen. At high temperatures the AdBlue turns into ammonia. This breaks down nitrogen oxide in the process, meaning the volume of particles being emitted is significantly reduced. What is AdBlue and why does your diesel car have it? This is called Selective Catalytic Reduction SCR. It's a system that injects a solution, such as AdBlue, through a catalyst in the exhaust. If you're driving a newer diesel car, chances are it comes with AdBlue technology. Manufacturers such as Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, Peugeot, Citroen and Jaguar all feature AdBlue technology. Peugeot and Citroen's Blue D engines feature it. Volkswagen has the initials SCR in the name of some of its diesel cars. When does AdBlue need topping up? If your car has AdBlue, and it's running low, you'll get a warning flash up on your dashboard. Very small amounts of AdBlue are used at a time. This means you won't need to top up like you do with fuel. However it's important that you don't let supplies run out. For example, a Volkswagen Passat uses around 1.5 liters of AdBlue every 620 miles. The tank size is 13 liters. So a full tank of AdBlue is good for about 8,000 miles of driving. What is AdBlue and why does your diesel car have it? Different driving styles, journey types and driving conditions will determine how much AdBlue is used. What happens if you run out of AdBlue? If this happens your car won't start. Most cars will give you a warning very far in advance, usually about 1,500 miles, before it's empty. Don't think you can just stick a tiny amount back in the tank for it to work. A minimum amount is needed for the car to start again. So you should top it up as soon as the warning appears. This will save you hassle further down the line. Where do I top up on AdBlue? Your local dealer or Halfords will supply top up bottles of AdBlue. Think of it like topping up with screen wash. Storage is probably the most important consideration. AdBlue needs to be stored between minus 11 and 30 degrees centigrade. Its shelf life is around 12 months in these conditions. Above 30 degrees centigrade it starts to decompose. It will freeze below minus 11, but retains its qualities when it thaws again. For a list of local AdBlue suppliers, click the link below this video.